So here's the thing. Like I did, I did a segment on this last year. Mm -hmm. It's not about just reading a news source. Yeah. It's about reading it and then finding their source yeah. and verifying exactly. the information. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there yeah. was one story. I can't remember what it was about. It was about Ocasio-Cortez. And it was a news article that referenced a tweet that referenced an activist blog that referenced an article. And I had to dig down to oh, find man. the source. And oh of course, gosh. it was fake news. So it's, it's like a they completely media game of telephone. Yep. Yes, where they is. slowly oh, dude. change the story Often, to finally get to the media. And it's like they're talking about a purple elevator. Yeah, when, and you start out talking about like a bathtub or something. Don't you. even get me yeah. started, man. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> People love your rants. Rant, yeah, Tim. Go rant. for it. Yes. Huh? Who wants a uh, Tim it's, rant? It's a story yes. everybody probably everybody knows. Everybody wants a Tim right, rant. Let's do it. This guy from NBC... <laughs> Because I got invited to the White House, he wrote a story about the people who were invited to the White House. And because the narrative had to be specifically that the only people invited are fringe wackos, <laughs> this activist who works for NBC, who, who purports to be a journalist, wrote that Tim Pool, comma, who pushed the Seth Rich conspiracy theory and then linked to an activist blog post that showed a clip of me out of context and then used that as evidence. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> dozens of other outlets started just copy and pasting. No, of and so I started hitting them up saying started like, getting clicks. Yeah, man. Ooh, it's working. Let's it's just, it. It's just, it's just cheap plagiarism. It's, yeah. it's journalism. That's what it's called. Churn. Is that churn. what it is? Yes. Just churning it out. So yep. Yep. one outlet saw NBC and then just copied their article and rewrote it. And then NBC, the guy from NBC removed the, the evidence of what, of what it was actually, because they all started sourcing each other. It's called, uh, the guy from XKCD calls it cytogenesis kind of where it's this phenomenon on Wikipedia where someone will see fake news okay. and then write an Wikipedia article and cite fake news. Oh, cite. And then, I was like, how cytogenesis? And, and then someone from like BuzzFeed will see it in Wikipedia and then write on Wikipedia, they claim this. Yeah. And then someone from Deadline will write, it's a known fact that this. And then someone on Wikipedia will say, this source you've used is bunk. Can you give me a better source? And I'll say, yes, here's Deadline. <laughs> you can, that's, it's cytogenesis. It happens all the time. Wow. So this guy writes a fake story, and then here's the best part. The Today Show aired it with a big old picture of me on NBC. Oh, wow. They yeah. showed a big old picture of my face and says, this is a guy who's been pushing the Seth Rich conspiracy theories. Never happened. Wow. Dude, I don't remember that. I've never pushed the Seth Rich conspiracy Holy theory cow. stuff. I was always skeptical. I always said, let's be real. Stuff like this never happens. You know, the likelihood this is real. It was around the time that Kim.com claimed he had evidence that Seth Rich was the WikiLeaks source. Okay. And I said, mm, well, he's saying it. And Fox News just came up with a story confirming that they found evidence of this. Eh, I'll give it a 68% chance. Come on, guys, let's be real. Stuff like this never turns out to be true. Right. What did they take? A snippet of me being like, mm, I don't know, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 68% chance. And then claim Tim Pool pushes the conspiracy theory <laughs> by saying the Fox News story, which was definitively posted and they retracted it later. Of course it was. Well, be, I, I thought it was real. A lot of people thought it was real Apparently and they, they retracted too, it. Yeah. Yeah. There was an investigator guy. Mm. And, and it's like, not only that, it's like, dude, I was in my living room back when I had like no YouTube subscribers. I had like, you know, 5,000 or whatever. And I did a live stream and I was just, someone asked me about it. And I'm like, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I saw this story. Wow. Yeah, maybe. And then once my channel did well, they dug through all of my history and said, wow. boom, Tim Pool's a conspiracy theorist. Boom, we wow, got him. Dude. That's the it's media's like, game. Oh my That's God. all they got, They're, John? they're vultures. Amazing. They are vultures. <sighs> well, Wiki the Wikipedia editors weren't having any of it. So, like someone went in and tried to add it. And then the editors were like, get this nope. bunk up out at you. Yeah. yeah. They actually, there was a huge debate. It was like- On your Wiki page? Whether or not I was a conspiracy yeah. theorist or not. <laughs> and it's like so insane. Well, the craziest thing to me is how they use that as a weapon against you. And so it's like, if you if you go to any counterculture or there's a bunch of, I, I don't know, I guess counterculture is the easiest way to say it. Their Wikipedia pages are just loaded with complete BS. And, I'm, and, and so I've gone, to, there's a bunch of journalists who do like news organization stuff and like conferences. And I've repeatedly said to them, why won't you call this out? Yeah. Give you an example. BuzzFeed wrote a story. Man dies at Popeye's and fight over a chicken sandwich. Yes. Never happened. They made it up because a story about two black men fighting the death over fried chicken was clickbait. Oh, the man. real story, they were at Popeye's, a guy cut in line, someone called him out, the guy said, take it outside, and then went outside, he knifed him in the chest real quick and ran off. Mm -hmm. Nobody was fighting over a sandwich. It was senseless violence. This stuff happens all the time. Dude. Wasn't, that was during the, the Popeye chicken sandwich yeah. craze? 
technically. You think Popeyes paid paid them under the table for that? Well, that was a conspiracy theory. Oh, that, really? That, that Popeyes put out a statement specifically because they wanted the story to exist that two men fought to the death over the sandwich. That's how good it was. I'm not kidding. Wow. I'm not saying it's true, but Dude. there are people on social media believing. I, I was that just joking. I don't think that's true. I, I you, you want to know no what? Way. I got no problem saying this. I reached out to Ben Smith of BuzzFeed okay. and I said, hey, this story is not real. And then he sent me a, a quote. The police saying they believe that this had something to do with the release of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. And I said, that doesn't prove it's real. Yeah, that, that exactly. That put them in the restaurant at the same time. That was it. Right. And I said to him, I, I, I'm vaguely remembering. I don't, I don't want to, you know, I, I, but I, I remember saying something to him. Cause this was over Twitter that the dude's family came out yeah. and said, nobody, this, his cousin was like, ain't nobody died over a chicken sandwich. This is BS. The media is lying. Yeah, dude. And they were lying. I know. And Be didn't you tell me that they're not even that good? I didn't like it. I never tried it. I didn't like it. I like Chick-fil-A better. For obvious reasons, but... But he, he refused to correct it. The that story's up to this day. And so here's what I did. Because it still clicks. So <sighs> NewsGuard... People click on it. NewsGuard is the service that I use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we actually, I, we, we can pull it up. I can show you guys. Yeah, let's look at it. So this thing right here, you'll see the check mark. Real clear politics gets green across the board, except they don't label their advertising really well. I mean, is that fair? Yeah, it's a just big old ad boxes. Right. I mean, I, sure, just like whatever. A full nutrition panel. Or Maybe whatever. there's articles yeah. or whatever. Well, it's it's not like clearly different because it's like a white border, so it kind of what, flows. You know in. what? Whatever. No, I mean, I could see so why. Just, <laughs> just, just, here, take a look at this. I use this as it's a sort of a credibility check for myself. It's a shield for me that if you want to claim I'm being biased by using bad sources, I only use sources when they're certified by by an organization that I find to be biased. Okay. There, NewsGuard's actually not that bad. But I got an email from them and they were like, you know, the trolls are trying to give us a bad rating. Whenever they give a news website a, a, a red exclamation point, these sites, not all of them, will encourage their readers to go and downrank NewsGuard. Yeah. In Seriously? The, in the app store. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and so I got an email saying because uh, they were like, you know, you're a, like, it was like a general email. Like, supporters, please go and help us. And I was like, okay. And I gave them a two out of five. Ooh. And I wrote, it's because they give BuzzFeed green check marks across the board. Except for the difference between, like, they say they don't uh, handle the difference between opinion and responsibility. Or, I'm sorry, opinion and news responsibly. Yeah. I think they do. And I said, they'll give the Daily Wire, which is Ben Shapiro's outlet, all X's because they wrote two or three bad stories. Because of a difference in opinion. Because of a difference in opinion. And then they'll give BuzzFeed green check marks across the board, even though BuzzFeed's literally made stuff up. The problem is these organizations, by default, believe BuzzFeed to be credible. And so they use BuzzFeed to fact check other organizations. Oh, man. Right. When BuzzFeed's making stuff up. Exactly. Yeah. And so here's what happens. They say the Washington Post is, is a good, credible source. Okay. So we don't need to actually. So here's what will happen. Let's say I wrote a story that said that fight over the chicken sandwich is fake news. BuzzFeed's lying. They'll go to BuzzFeed and they'll say, mm, no, BuzzFeed says it's true. Tim Pool is lying. And they'll give me the X. Wow. That's how it works with, with the bias in these systems. So... You know, BuzzFeed and all these other and, and like the Daily Beast has written so much fake crap. I know for I know for a fact because I was actually on the ground at several of these events they wrote about. And I'm like, they made that up. They straight made stuff up. Yeah. yeah. And then I reach out to the news guard and I say, why won't you call them out? I reach out to people at like the online news association. None of them will do anything. They don't care. And they know it. I reached out to the former editor in chief of BuzzFeed News personally. I know Ben. I, I, I was out, I, you, out, you know, I've been to the BuzzFeed offices and hanging out with him. I saw him on the way to Davos, the World Economic Forum years ago. We've talked. He's in one of my videos. And so I hit him up and said, you need to correct this. And he said no. Yeah, because the media isn't about getting the news out there, the real news. Nah, it's clicks. It's about getting people to their site so that they can make more ad revenue. I'll clarify. Right? I don't think he, yeah. like, I, it's been a while since we talked. He didn't directly say, like, I'm, I refuse to correct her or something. He just said, mm, the police said it was related to it. We're good. And yeah. the, the headline says, it sounds like a brush off. In a fight over, right. And basically saying no. And uh, when I reached out to news, so when I did that review for NewsGuard, yeah. I responded to the email saying, just to let you know, you requested it. I gave it to you. I gave you a two out of five, and here's why. They emailed me back saying, I respect, you know, you know, you've talked about us, but I don't think it's fair. And then I said, I like you give media matters, yeah. green check marks across the board. Jeez. Media matters. I don't know what that is. It's an activist organization that it's just basically if you're conservative or right wing, they'll lie about you. My favorite. And this was funny because Wikipedia, the Wikipedia editors like wigged out on how insane it was. Media matters wrote 
that I pushed a conspiracy theory that Ilhan Omar marry, may have married her brother. She's the she's a Democratic congresswoman. I did hear about this. But yeah. what they showed on the page was me looking at the Star Tribune that said she may have married a man who may her, be her brother. That was their reference. Right, so here's the best part. They said Tim Pool <laughs> falsely claimed that the Star Tribune claimed that Ilhan <laughs> Omar may have married her brother. And they showed a picture of me looking with my face in the it. corner and the newspaper for the Star Tribune with the sentence I was reading. I didn't falsely claim anything. I read a sentence off the newspaper. <laughs> and you can literally see it on your screen. And uh, so somebody tried using the source from Media Matters saying Tim Pool's a conspiracy theorist on Wikipedia. And they were like, mm. I clicked that. And they're claiming that a paper he read was a false attribution, but they showed the paper he was reading. Yeah, exactly. That's how insane they are. <laughs> and they get green check marks as credible. Dude. That's NewsGuard. Because so, so why? I mean, you started by saying you use NewsGuard because you want to have your stuff checked. But it's clear to me that they are biased well, there totally are some cat so, shots. so how how do you know that it's even worth using that them if at all? newsguard wants to come to me and, uh -huh. and and like give me a red check mark okay. or whatever yeah. and accuse me i'm gonna laugh right i'm gonna be like why bro i only use sites you've approved oh that's funny so what, what is that the the only reason because it sounds like their check marks mean nothing people like uh uh media matter is using that you know smear against me okay that's how they weaponize it they try to claim you know you're pushing a fake news website it's like don't look at me man okay. if NewsGuard says it's good i use it so i i used uh, the center for immigration studies as a source once okay and a bunch of progressives started claiming i was using alt-right propaganda and i'm just like don't look at me man NewsGuard said they're, cer they're certified factual and correct end of story huh. don't care brush it off the perfect scapegoat. Yeah, it's, well. it's, it's not me. It's it's they they approved it. It's true well, though. Majority, it's true. I know. Yeah. I don't. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm no, exactly yeah, yeah. what I'm saying. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune into this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify. And we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.